You can now watch the second lesson video. In this video we learn how to create a social media account selling marketplace website. If you haven't seen the first video then you must watch the first video. Check the video description because I will give the link to the first video in the video description. So let me now discuss with you all the features and functionality of the admin panel. First you get a nice section to see some details in the shortcut on the admin panel dashboard. Now let me introduce you to the account listing section. Now you have to understand what this section does. When we apply to sell our social media accounts, then we have to apply here by submitting the various information of our social media account. Then all these apply lists will be submitted in account listing section. Now we can see all the application information by clicking on details button. Now we can review these details and approve or reject them. Then we can see all approved lists. And we can see all the reject lists. We can also see all sold listings and draft listings. And we can see all the account listings together. Now I will discuss with you the manage social media section. Here we can submit social media names of different companies. Then we can add the social media requirements of different companies here step by step. You can customize this section according to your needs. Also we can create categories for social media step by step. For this we need to submit social media name and photo here. These things are very important mainly for sale account section. Now I will discuss with you the user section step by step. We can easily see the list of all the active users of the website. Also we can see all account details of users. We can see the account amount history of users here. Also we can add balance to any user account. And we can deduct balances from users accounts if we wish. We can see all login history of user account. And we can use them to send specific notifications. Then we can easily take login access to users account. Also we can ban any users account if we wish. We can change all user account information step by step. We are also getting important features for user account management. We can see the list of all banned users. And we are getting many important sections to manage users. Using the features of this section we can manage all the users of the website very easily. We can send notification messages to users by selecting specific categories. We can add automatic payment gateway or manual payment method to the website. You are getting many international automatic payment gateways on the website. Users can make automatic payments on the website using these payment gateways. Now I will teach you how to add Coinbase Commerce payment method to website. For this we need to create a Coinbase Commerce account. You can create a Coinbase Commerce account by submitting correct information here. I have already created a Coinbase Commerce account so I will log in now. Now I will teach you step by step how to add Coinbase Commerce account to website. For this, please follow this video completely. We can add other payment methods to the website using the same method. Also we can create any kind of manual payment method of our choice. 
For this we have to submit the information of payment methods here step by step. We will easily manage the deposit section step by step. We can see all pending deposit history here. We can review the pending deposits and approve or reject them by going to the details section. Also we are getting some nice sections to manage all the deposit history step by step. And we can see the total deposit amounts on the website. Now I will discuss with you the withdrawal section step by step. We can create custom withdrawal payment method as per our requirement. For this we need to submit step by step withdrawal payment method information here. Then we can see the user's payment requests. Now we can review and approve or reject this payment request. Also we are getting many features section step by step to manage the withdrawal method. We will be able to answer user support ticket requests very easily. We are getting all kinds of important features to manage the support ticket section. Also we can see all the reports on the website. This section is very important to operate our website. Then we can see all the subscriber lists of the website. In this video I have discussed with you the important functionality of the admin panel of the website. You are now watching the second lesson video of this source code. In the next third lesson video, I will discuss with you step by step these important features and functionality of admin panel. Because in the third lesson video, I will share with you step by step how to customize the important functionalities of the admin panel. You must subscribe the channel to watch the next video.